So right, right now I'm with uh, the founder of Milo, Philip, and we're gonna just talk, uh, talk about a little bit about the updates of Milo, the hardest startup in Montreal. Hi, Tim. Hello. How are you doing? Alright, how are you doing? Fine. So can you like update us about Milo and like, what's going on? Absolutely. So last time we spoke, I believe it was back in November. Yeah. Uh, we talked a little bit about the application Milo. It's a mobile application for your phone, for iPhone and Android that links to your credit and debit card. Yeah. Every time you make a purchase, we round up to the nearest dollar, take that square change and put it into an investment account. Okay. So last time we spoke, we yeah. were just launching the application, things were growing fast. Um, things were, were going really well. Since we've uh, last spoke, well, we moved into uh, a great new space. We're now here today at the Milo headquarters okay. um, here in St. Henry. We uh, raised our seed round of financing. So we raised $2.65 million uh, with Desjardins, First Capital, okay. uh, Robert Rage, Ange Quebec. And uh, today we're, we're here celebrating uh, and, and anxiously waiting for the viewing of Dragon's Den. So we filmed oh. Dragon's Den back in April of last year. And now here we are in, in March uh, and finally watching the, the episode. So we'll get to see what happens together. Watch Milo slay the dragons and uh, <laughs> see if we get a deal or not. So how was it like filming that? How, what do you feel like to get from starting something out of nothing and not like becoming like this big? Yeah, so um, so two questions there. How did it feel for, for Dragons then? It was a fantastic experience. Okay. Um, we got to, to film in Toronto. We were there early in the morning. We had to practice our pitch. We only had about three or four weeks to practice and get everything ready. We weren't sure if we were going to do it or not because we never actually applied to okay. be on Dragons then. They called us to ask us if they wanted to be. Okay. It was a very last minute thing. They, they discovered our application. They loved it. They wanted us to be part of the show. And it was in the middle of our financing round. So we were in the middle of financing. We we're in the middle building our app and there's a lot going on um, and obviously there's a, there's a lot to be worried about too if it doesn't go well how okay. does it negatively affect your, your brand but yeah. we took the risk we're glad we did um, and, and it's been fantastic uh, and I, I, you told me like you stayed like one hour like you were one of the uh... yeah so most most pitches are in there between 5 10 15 minutes okay. they're really good you're probably in there or they have a lot of questions you're probably in there for about half an hour and uh, we were in there for a bit over an hour and a half. So they drilled us with a lot of questions, but it's because we have a very interesting uh, business and, okay. um, and, and a lot of great feedback. Cool. And how does it feel out of this? Like it feels incredible. I'm living the dream. It's uh, and, and the most important thing is we're making an impact in people's lives. So we get Facebook messages from people. We get emails from people. People are chatting with us. They're telling us that they're they're saving for the first time in their life. Um, and their app is changing the life, the way that they, they manage the money, their relationship with money, and okay. taking the stress off. So being able to make such a positive impact on people is extremely important, and, and, and I absolutely love it. Why for you? Why did you decide to start mine? Why? What was it that make you like I want to start this? What, yeah. yeah, absolutely. So it came out of my own need. Uh, obviously, as an entrepreneur for two businesses before Milo, okay. I was very much bootstrapped. I was living. Uh, doing a freelance style um, and, 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 and making a dollar stretch and I saw all of my peer groups go through a long way so I started obtaining these skills becoming really good with my own money and managing a, a way to make this happen and my peer group was going through getting the first jobs and through this but uh, most of them were having a hard time saving and investing money as well so it kind of came out of a need that I identified through there and, um, and the bigger underlying problem that we researched in Canada afterwards and saw it wasn't just affecting my friends it's affecting everybody and uh, yeah we went through a long customer discovery process. We spoke to over 10,000 Canadians before even launching the business idea. Okay. And by doing so, we, we came up with a great solution that uh, people people love. Wow. Yeah. And where do you want to take this? Where do you want to go now after this big, now you're on TV and everything? We're on TV, things are going well, but we're, we're at the beginning of our journey. We want to, uh, right now we're helping people save and invest their money. We're available to all Canadians right now. Okay. Um, but we want to go beyond that. Our, our mission is really one of financial inclusion accessibility and affordability. So we want to help people make better financial decisions and, and improve in different aspects of their financial life. And uh, I think there's plenty of opportunity to do so beyond saving and investing. So we have a big vision about uh, how we can help people um, find better cell phone plans, saving banking fees, apply for best credit card, find the right mortgage for them. And uh, we're gonna use some AI to power all the decision-making powers and help people get the best product uh, for them and, and ultimately achieve their financial goals, which is right back in our mission. Now you were talking about like 
getting in, in savings and everything, like going more deeply in finance. But like what about banks? What did what did they see you when you when you come like out of the world like this and you get a bigger? What does the banks think? First, nobody believes you, right? <laughs> they, they, they all think it's, it's, a, it's a great idea, but it's difficult. Um, and it's difficult to start a business. There's been many saving and investing applications that have launched and, and, and closed down since we've started Milo, right? So in my journey, it, it, we've seen a wave of great products and great ideas, but it just, it's very difficult to make a business, especially in fintech, uh, survive. So uh, I've seen it. So I think a lot of banks were hesitant at first, and, and even some investors were hesitant at first because we were going after a very big, ambitious goal. Um, but now as we're starting to change, we're seeing the attitude shift and, and they can see opportunities to work with us and partner with us and give a better user experience and, and find a way to, to build better products for their own customers by using the input and value that we have through our Milo users. Um, and we saw it with Desjardins, they, they, Desjardins Venture Capital, yeah. Capital of the Risk, um, actually invested in the last round and was our lead investor and, and they see the synergies and they see the potential in, in a product and platform so, like Milo. So they are not there to crush you but collaborate together. Absolutely. So there's the, there's the big question when it comes to fintech, uh, is, are you going against the banks or with the banks? But I think we're all seeing, especially in the Canadian landscape, there's room for both of us to coexist and for us to help each other. And, um, and at the end of the day, our users love it, right? And, and they're there to serve their users and we're there to serve the users as well. Thank you. Absolutely. Great seeing you again.